Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. Today I'm showing you how to transfer music from your iPhone to a computer. This is very handy if you switch to a new computer or maybe your computer died and the only copy of music that you have is on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. This will work across all those devices. You're going to need a program called iExplorer. This is available for Mac and for Windows. I'm going to show you how to do it on Mac right here, but if you check a link in the description, you'll see more on how to do this on Windows as well. When you first plug in your iPhone, you'll need to have iTunes open, and you'll need to trust the iPhone if you're the first time you're connecting this to a computer. Then it should show up in iExplorer, and I can auto-transfer everything, but we're going to go over to Music, and we're going to handpick, because odds are you don't want everything from that device. So, say I want this song right here, Yoshima Battle Snoop Dogg. I'm going to go to Transfer from Device. I'm going to export that item to a folder, and I'm going to send it to my desktop, and it appears right here in that corner. It just takes a second. Now the other thing I can do is send something to iTunes. So I'm going to grab this Eminem song and I'm going to choose export selected items to iTunes and you'll see within a second that is in iTunes. Now you can do a lot of things or I can even auto transfer all device items to iTunes and that's going to pull over everything and I can do playlists and things like that. I'm just going to hit auto transfer. Right now I can't do that because I just have the demo. If you had the full version you would be able to transfer all of those. But you can at least make sure this works for you before you decide if you want to pay $34.99 for the full version. And that's really all there is to it. You can also grab other things like photos, etc. using this file, Explorer, iExplorer. And that's all there is to transferring your music from an iPhone or iPad or iPod Touch to your computer. Now you don't have to hang on to that old iDevice I just so that you can listen to some of your songs or figure out a way to recover a hard drive that may have crashed if you just needed the music off of there. Thanks for watching. If you check a link in the description, you'll find more details on how to do this and a version on Windows as well.